hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Belema Ogulu and we're just going to jump right into this video so I'm applying hair gel just in front of my head like on my edges just to put everything in place so I'm not looking tacky so for this video we're going to need a pack of rubber bands some bobby pins and of course a pack of expression braiding hair or any any braiding hair that you like I used half a pack of the smaller expression um, braiding hair but you can use any braiding hair that you like so you're just going to put that on your pre-packed ponytail the next thing you want to do is split the ponytail into three different halves but you're going to need one small half of a half <laughs> and that's going to be the portion you use for your bangs and um, we're going to get to that real soon next you're going to want to um get a bobby pin yep and just secure that portion of hair that we're going to use as our bangs for later and you also want to make sure it's secure and in place so use as many as you will like i use just two but that's because i already like i have a very scanty portion for my bangs but if you have a fuller portion then definitely use as many bobby pins as you like so now you're going to portion the hair and just take out a slim small portion and wrap that around the base of your ponytail now be careful and don't go over the pony over the um over the rest of the hair but go under you're going to see me do it right now the reason why is because this portion of hair is just to hold down your bangs so they don't move anywhere and just keep them secure so you're just going to wrap that around very tight but not too tight where it's uncomfortable but tight enough take as much time as you need for this process because this is what is going to determine how long you actually be able to keep this hair because when your bangs are moving up and down then <laughs> well you just have to lose in the hair but then if you can get this unlocked then yeah your hair should be good for at least a week at the very least a week so now that we're done with that we're just going to tuck that under the hair but if you're not too sure about your let's say tucking skills then just use a bobby pin i mean as long as you have a bobby pin you can use as many bobby pins for this entire process as you want so now we're just going to split the rest of the hair into three portions even though we're still going to end up splitting those three into other portions but then three portions it is then take the first portion and twist it to the very end and then wrap that twisted portion around the base of your Chinese bun this is going to form the first um, well I say the first layer of your Chinese bun and it doesn't have to be um, completely what's the word <laughs> why is english failing me today i was gonna say it doesn't have to be completely like put together it just has to be secure because it's the base and you want it to look natural so we're just going to do that for the rest of this bun and um <laughs> my arms were hurting okay so what am I doing? Oh yeah, we're just twisting. <laughs> we're just twisting that portion all around, and then we're basically doing this for the rest of the portion of the hair. Um, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch this. Okay, I secured this with a bobby pin because I wasn't sure. But anyway, I'm just going to leave you guys to watch this process because I'm pretty much doing the same thing, and I'll be back when it's time to cut my bangs because I need to tell you guys a couple of things because I actually made a mistake. So yeah, let's just finish wrapping this up, and then I'll be back with you guys. So for this portion, we're going to need a tail comb just so you can comb out the front part, um, which is your bangs, and you can determine how much hair you want on the sides, how much you're going to cut, and stuff like that. Okay, 
okay so now it's time to cut the hair and i use the corners of my eye to determine um how much i want on the sides of the hair you know like the long sides and then how much i was going to cut so yeah this worked for me so i think you guys can use this as well so i'm just looking at the portion of hair i'm trying to determine how much of it i want to cut and i'm just going to start cutting from as low as possible because i really wasn't sure and then i see i kept on checking like is this long enough is this short enough and then you know i just wasn't sure and i didn't want to mess it up so i decided to cut it again just below my eyes and then i was like okay at this point i think i'm just going to comb everything out and then like start cutting the hair upwards you can see me do that in a few seconds and then um, yeah i kind of like this length just that like it's not a very practical length but yeah so now i'm just going to be cutting my hair upwards or rather the hair upwards you know so i could get rid of that blunt look when you're doing this i want you to take as much time as you need don't even feel rushed this part of the video is very very well fast forwarded and then you want to be careful at this part so you don't cut off too much hair because then you can't grow the hair back so yeah be careful then now for the sides you're going to have to cut it downwards so like diagonally and take your time as well don't feel rushed at all okay so after doing this i should have just left it like that but then i don't know why i decided to go ahead and cut it but then i did cut it and i regretted it it still looked good but then just keep watching you see what i mean so i cut the sides of the hair a bit just to um cut the sides of the hair upwards actually not just a bit just so it doesn't look blunt and this was where it started to go down here <laughs> i kept cutting and cutting till it was too short but then it still looked nice I wanted it to be much longer than this though, but I guess I have to settle for what I created. <laughs> so yeah, do the same thing for the other side. And I would advise to just cut it once. Don't go over it and over it and over it again. See what I'm doing there? If I do this again, I definitely won't go over it so many times. I think I'll just leave it as long as I wanted it in the first place. So now I'm just brushing out the hair just to see. I said brushing, combing out the hair just to see. Okay, so now when it comes to this hair straightener, you guys, you have to be careful. Reduce it to the lowest that your straightener can go. I even turned it off to actually do this because my straightener couldn't go below 120. So I turned it off because you want to remember that this is actually synthetic hair. It is rubber or plastic, whatever, and it will shrivel up. So make sure your straightener is just hot enough to get it in place, but not um, too hot. And if you can even turn it off, you know it doesn't need that much heat so just turn it off so after straightening i'm just going to brush out the hair or rather comb out the hair just to see what it looks like and i think i ended up going back and cutting it a bit more in front yes i did so i just cut bangs a bit more in front because i decided i couldn't so much see wood so <laughs> so yeah this is what we have and then yeah this works I love this hair like I ended up taking so many pictures and like just doing the absolute most with this hair so my advice would be you know for the side bangs don't cut too much just leave it even though this works it's still like yeah okay okay we're done we're done slay <laughs> all right you guys so all in all I think I really um, enjoyed creating this um, look Okay, so I decided to comb the bangs to the side just to see what they would look like and you guys, this turned out so well. Yep, I absolutely loved how it turned out. So, as you can tell, I started to feel myself a little too much. <laughs> so yeah, I think you guys should um, definitely recreate this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up you guys if you liked it and if you watched it to this point thank you so much for watching bye